popularity of the big G remained constant throughout the decline of the Japanese motion picture industry of the 70s. This was due mainly to his now predominantly child-based audience. Sadly, gone were the days when he rampaged through civilizations to teach us a lesson. So when in 1971 Godzilla vs. Hedra surfaced, there was a new hope as he was once again doing battle with a foe of our own making. Let's go here, Steph. My pants are full of keek. Jesus shit! That was a nail-biting roller coaster ride through Godzilla's guts, wasn't it? And here we are in his digestive tract, which gives us ample opportunity to address those perennial questions, as in, what does Godzilla do for sustenance? Now he's a big fella and he must burn the calories off. So, what does Zilla files, as they call, think? Well, they actually think he ate whales. No, not my home nation, you nick, but those plankton sucking deep sea sonar mammalian wanks. Now, if that's true, it does in fact eat whales. That's something of a paradox, because Godzilla in Japanese translates as Gojira, which means whale gorilla. So that would mean he's eating his own kind. Godzilla vs. Hedorah is one of the more bizarre efforts from the Godzilla franchise, as the once proud beast of destruction occasionally resorts to a bit of boxing, wrestling and kung fu. He also has, for reasons best known to the film's creators, developed the power of flight, which enables him to keep up with the flying incarnation of the small beast. It was made in 1971, so it's packed full of pop culture references, but they do bang on at great lengths about pollution and sludge in the sea, when what they mean is shit in the sea, and human shit in the sea to boot. In fact, Hedora looks like a big, wet, steamy Richard III himself. And as I languish and stand here like a bolus of part digested material, I would like to suggest that Hedora is, in fact, the physical manifestation of all those years of us pumping our effluent into the ocean. Indeed, humankind's own fecal matter has come back from the U-bed to haunt us. And as I stand here, slipping through the last part of Godzilla's lower abdomen, there's only one place left to go, isn't there? Down! Ah! By the time Godzilla gets to meet Hedera, he's morphed into a much more recognisably monkey human form. And he even goes in for a spot of, come on then if he wanted, posturing and bragging. But more interestingly, he's also morphed into the good guy, angered by the fact that man pumps his raw anal effluent into the oceans of the world. So why don't you go and visit the latrine, drop a friend off at the sea, and sally forth and sport a while on the couch and enjoy the movie. Mmm.